The failing police and fire pension fund is top of mind in Dallas, and the city council is planning to take another step in the debate over how to fix it. Channel 8's Monica Hernandez has details for us from council chambers. Now, the council is taking a break right now, but in less than an hour, they'll come back here to council chambers, and Mayor Mike Rawlings says the first thing they'll tackle is the police and fire pension fund. They'll consider a resolution to only support a bill aimed at fixing the fund if it meets certain requirements, mainly that it's not a quote unfunded mandate. Rawlings has called the bill a taxpayer bailout because it would force the city to pay into the fund each year. The pension board says the fund will fail if the city doesn't help. The resolution also calls for a new governance system to oversee the pension fund. Other big news from the council today, they voted to oust DART's vice chair Richard Carizales. He voted in favor of the controversial Cotton Bell rail line from DFW Airport to Fort Worth, while some council members urged him to prioritize Dallas transportation instead. But some council members say that's not what their decision today was about. This vote today is about taking the opportunity to provide strong new leadership on our Dallas delegation to the DART board. It is not, as Mr. Kleinman has so wrongly stated, a mean-spirited, vengeful reaction to last October's vote. Well, one council member says he already has some nominees in mind to replace Carizales. As for the pension, the House passed the bill aimed at fixing it last week, and it now goes to the Senate. We will have a crew here inside council chambers as soon as they get back into session, and of course we will tweet live updates from WFAA Channel 8. We'll send it back to you in the studio.